Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you this no foundation makeup routine. So this whole look was done without using any liquid or powder, any sort of foundation. I just used concealer and I just pinpointed it where I needed coverage and then just like applied it. Also, it was all done with drugstore products. So just use whatever you have at home. If you need to buy something, drugstore is really inexpensive. So these products are great. If you need to like get something new, just go ahead and buy those ones or you know, use whatever you have at home. It's the best thing to do. It's about the technique and not a lot about the product. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it and let's get started. So you want to start off with a moisturized skin. So apply your moisturizer right now if you want to or if you already applied like if it isn't too many hours ago, that's fine. But also make sure that your skin's moisturized. So I'm just gonna apply moisturizer now because I did a while ago, but it has been some hours. So now after you apply moisturizer, it depends on if you want to apply primer or if you don't. It depends on if you normally do it, just do it again. If you don't, then just skip it because it's better to just stick to what you normally do and don't like change it up too much for something that's supposed to be easier, you know? But I'm going to use a primer. I always use the Maybelline Face Studio Prime Hydrating Primer, which is this one here. And I just like it because it's moisturizing. So it is kind of like a moisturizer too, but I just like to do both so that my skin is more moisturized. And I just take a little bit onto my hand and rub it in and apply it to my face with my hands. You can use a brush if you want to, but I feel like for primer it's better to just apply it with your hands. But what I'm going to use is this Essence Make Me Glow Liquid Bronzer, which is actually like a liquid bronzer, but I like to use it just like as a highlighting primer kind of thing. I just take a little bit to my hands and then I just like apply it onto my skin. Let's get started with the no foundation part. Now, if you have great, perfect skin with no imperfections, just skip foundation you can use primer like I did and then just like maybe powder a bit if you need it if you get oily and just apply your regular bronzer and blush and everything but if you have something to like cover up that you want to cover up like I have some pimples some red marks and stuff then I just use concealer and I pinpoint it there where I need it so it's not like a foundation all over your face and you're covering like all your pores you're just using it strategically where you need it but you gotta keep in mind that if you have a lot of redness or a lot of like discoloration on your skin, it might look funny because then it's gonna be like different colors. If you don't mind it, that's fine. But if you do, then maybe it's better to apply like a thin layer of some sort of foundation or like BB cream, something that has a little bit of a tint to it to make your face look like more like the same color and then you can just pinpoint a little bit more coverage where you need it. But like I have a lot of redness, but I don't care that much like a little bit of this like a uh, different colors because i feel like when you apply bronzer and blush and everything else it kind of just you know melts together and just looks like it all belongs together <laughs> so that's what i'm gonna do now for the concealer i use i like the maybelline fit me concealer because i have it in the color 25 and i feel like it's a great color for my skin and i like the consistency so i'm just gonna take it and just from the thingy i'm just gonna apply it to all the places where I see a little bit of redness and want to kind of cover it up. Like for me, it's mostly on the cheeks, as you can see. And then here, and then also some redness over on this side. Now I do have quite some redness and red parts on my face so that's why I actually don't use that little. If you just have like one part that's red then just go ahead and just use it for that. It's not like you have to use a lot. Just use it really where you need it. That's like the whole thing about this no foundation thing. Now I'm gonna use a beauty blender. This is by Real Techniques. It says not a beauty blender but a beauty sponge. I guess that's the official name. But you can also use a brush like this one to just like go ahead and just you know go around where you apply the coverage i just like a beauty blender or a beauty sponge more because i don't like that much coverage and i just feel like it looks better on my skin but you know you do whatever works for you and i'm just going to take the tip and work kind of mostly around the concealer that i applied not like exactly onto like the center of the redness but like rounded it 
and as you can see it's starting to like cover up the redness without it looking heavy and looking like a lot can you see the difference you cannot really see that there's like concealer there because it kind of meshes well with my skin color so that's why it works again keep in mind to not go directly into it and just be like gentle and go around the concealer and around the redness now as you can see i covered up this side too and i feel like you can hopefully see how my skin looks more even and there's not a lot of redness now if you're like me and have still some redness peeking out peeking out picking up I don't know how you say that but you still have some redness that you don't like and you want to like get rid of it just go ahead and use a little bit more like here and here and here okay and that's actually basically it when it comes to just like concealing imperfections as you can see it's just like really quick and easy and it just works for like when you want to like cover up something but don't want to like apply a lot of foundation and a lot of like stuff to your face now the next thing that i'm gonna do just to finish all of this off is to apply just like an under eye concealer this is the maybelline instant age rewind concealer this one I love for under my eyes. It's just like really thin and it just like, it's like serum-y kind of in a way, but it still has great coverage. I have mine in the shade Neutralizer 06. So I'm just going to take this and apply it directly under my eyes. I concentrated most like on the inner parts of my eyes and like of my eye area and like the side of my nose and then down here. You can apply it however you like it or whatever you need to conceal or like where you need more coverage, apply it there because where you apply it first is where it's going to have more coverage. And for me it's most like the inside of my eyes, like this part of my nose, it gets pretty dark and also like just a little bit of the under eye but I don't have like that dark under eye circle so I don't need that much. But you know according to what you need, just use however much you need or want. And again I'm just going to go in with my concealer I mean with my beauty blender and just blend it in most of the time there's a little bit like left on the sponge and I just like go around my nose because I do have some redness there but I don't like applying too much product around my nose because it tends to like cake on the sides of my nose and don't look cute all right so that's that for the under eyes and now i'm just gonna apply a little bit of powder but not a lot i've been liking to use less powder because i just feel like it makes my skin look better and after a while everything settles in on itself so i don't really need it but i'm gonna use a little bit right now um, if you want to use like cream bronzers or cream anything then just apply them first and then use powder but i'm gonna use powder after that for like bronzer and blush because I just prefer it so I'm just gonna powder right now for that I'm gonna be taking this Catrice color correcting luminizer which is basically a powder that has like four colors and I think it was limited edition so I don't think you can get it anymore but just you know get use whatever powder you normally like to use just use that uh, make sure that it's like a really finely milled powder so that it doesn't settle in somewhere and i'm going to be using this setting brush from real techniques i just love this one for powder and i'm just going to like take a little bit of powder and then just like dab it off as you can see there's a lot of powder flying and i'm going to just mostly concentrate it like around my nose because i do have larger pores there and i just like to hide them a little bit with powder a little bit on my forehead my chin and around my mouth and that's basically what i'm gonna do that's gonna be it and also i mean a lot of people uh, use powder under the eyes to just set the concealer i've noticed that because of the way that my eyes are shaped i have stronger like lines under my eyes concealer tends to settle there and so if i apply powder it kind of just like sticks there and i cannot do anything about it so i prefer to leave it just like that and if i see concealer like moving in there i just dab it away with my finger and i can just do it when there's no powder on top so i just am i'm just gonna leave it you can also if you want to powder around the parts where you concealed if you feel like you need it i am not going to do that because i feel like with the powder like with the bronzer that i'm gonna apply on top that that's enough like kind of setting with a powder 
Okay, so now for powder, I'm gonna be taking this Catrice Sun Glow Bronzer. You cannot even see the name anymore because I've used it so much. And it's in the color 030 Medium Bronze. I really love this bronzer and in general I love Catrice bronzers. For that I'm gonna be taking this Real Technique brush. It's a blush brush. It's this big one. I like it for bronzer and things like that. I, I also use it for blush sometimes, but I just like it for big thing is where you don't want to be too precise i'm just gonna bronze and not contour so it doesn't care it doesn't like matter that much so i'm just gonna like rub it in again tap off the excess and see a lot of powder fly everywhere and then i'm just gonna apply it to the side of my face not like that much in a strategic place i'm just like applying it there and then working my way up I'm gonna go like underneath my chin and also like a little bit on my chin because I just like the look of that. Then I'm also gonna take some powder and apply it to the tip of my nose, like to the lower part of my nose and then also just like the tip. I just like go around like this. But that's it for the bronzer. Now I'm gonna apply some blush. For that I'm gonna use this brush. This is an e.l.f. brush blush. I love this one. This is like the only brush I use for blush. The only brush I use for blush. That's a hard sentence to say because it's just perfect to like, you know, pat it on instead of rub it because I prefer to pat my blush. And I'm gonna be using this Catrice, I don't know, defining blush. And again, just apply some to your brush, tap it off. And then I'm going to focus the blush mostly on like the upper part of my cheeks because I have been liking that look too. It looks like you're really flushed. And again, also onto the nose. Here I'm gonna go like on the bridge of my nose. Again, make me look like I have a tan, which I don't. And a little bit on my forehead because you know, when your forehead gets tan, it sometimes look a little bit red. I know that I look like crazy on my video night right now. I think this will not look great, but it will look great at the end, I promise. I just look crazy right now because nothing's like brushed in yet and I also don't have any brows nor any eye makeup so that's why it looks crazy. Now for highlighter I'm gonna be taking this Soeva brush. This is the 134 Lux powder brush. And for highlighter I'm gonna be taking the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Precious Petals. This is a great highlighter, really inexpensive. I think it's like 5 euro or something. So I'm just gonna take it in my brush and like apply it to the high points of my cheeks and then also to like this brow area and keep it so a little bit on the chin on the bridge of my nose and on the tip of my nose I'm also gonna take another brush. This is just a random brush that I don't even know the brand, but it's like a pencil brush. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and apply it on the inner corners of my eyes. Now, I might look a little bit crazy right now. I think I do. I can see it in the camera. It doesn't look that great. I think my nose looks crazy and it doesn't look crazy like on natural light, but I get it that it, like, it looks crazy on the camera. So I'm just gonna take the brush with which I applied my bronzer and I'm just gonna like, clean it a little bit on a tissue to make sure that it doesn't have any bronzer anymore and I'm just gonna go on top of my nose and then like also my cheeks it's just like mesh everything together now you gotta keep in mind a lot of these things look way better in like natural light than in like studio lights I have quite some lighting here and the camera obviously also picks up different things that you would with your normal eyes so you know maybe if my nose looks crazy it does but i feel like in real life when i wear this when, when i like use this makeup it doesn't look that crazy so i mean but you know take whatever you want and skip whatever you don't like now i'm just gonna go ahead and do my brows and do something to my eyes this is not part of the like tutorial anymore and then i'm gonna come back when everything else is ready so i'm back i just finished off my like brows and mascara and a little bit of liner just to like complete the look and don't look like that crazy i feel like right now with everything else done it just looks a little bit more 
you know like a whole look and it doesn't look as crazy as it looked just with foundation and bronzer and everything and I still feel like my nose looks strange but again it looks nice in real life I, at least I think so but you do whatever you like to and yeah I hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up and also follow me on my social media and I will see you very soon bye